Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Um, if this is your first time here, my name is Lisa T. Brink and I upload every Wednesdays and every Fridays. Um, I also have a, a website that you can go get readings from and um, I also am a blogger so you'll see some of that integrated into this as we move forward. Um, so I hope that you enjoy what you see. Really hope that you like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help us little itty bitty YouTube creators. So if you could do that, that would be wonderful. Um, I'd like to say a quick hello to my Irish friends out there. I have this amazing group of friends that I've just met in the last few weeks, like I've said before. So I'm going to shout out to them every time I, I can. Um, and I also have a question for you guys, if you don't mind, my lovely, beautiful Irish friends out there. I am trying to do a, like a taste test because I have not tasted Irish snacks before. So if you could give me some suggestions on some Irish snacks. I know I'm kind of limited right now because of everything going on in the world. Um, I can't get like a, a subscription box, but we do have some stores that carry up some Irish snacks. So I'm looking for like crisps or even like curds or whatever, you know, give me a suggestion. The only thing my subscribers ask me if I could do a prediction on June of 2020. Uh, right now it's March of 2020. Uh, <laughs> I am having the most difficult time doing this and I can't put my finger on why. Um, I have like a block and I don't think it's personal. Um, meaning that it's something that is personally going to happen to me or my family. <laughs> I'm trying not to sneeze or my loved ones or my animals. I unfortunately have this thing where I can tell when people are going to pass away. It is really tough. My mom had it and my mom was very scary accurate down to like the hour of when a person was going to die. I don't have it as accurate as that, um, but I have it. And it used to bother me a lot when I was a kid and it bothers me now. But I was given a way to see a new perspective. For example, um, I knew my dad was going to die. I knew when I got a certain phone call that was not anything that you would consider dangerous or bad or leading one to the conclusion that your dad was going to die. I just knew at that moment, I'm like, my dad's going to die. I'm going to have, I have to leave right now. Like I have to go. And um, within three days he had passed away. And how I was told the information to look at it in a new perspective was, while it sucks, I was given that time to say goodbye. I knew when it was going to happen. I knew very close to the time it was going to happen. And it was hard and it was scary. But I was given a gift because um, when I got there, uh, I was able to have one last conversation with my dad before he was not able to respond ever again. So I was able to have a last conversation with him and it was a gift. So if any of you have that ability out there and it really bothers you and I understand it, try to look at it in a different perspective. You are being given a gift to say goodbye. It might be years, it might be days, it might be minutes, but you have it. Instead of panicking and trying to push that feeling away, listen to it because you are getting it for a reason. Okay, no more sad stuff right now. Um, I'm having a difficult block with June. Um, it almost seems theatrical, what I'm getting. Um, so what I thought I would do for a moment is to read some predictions that I did on my website in the underdogwins.com. I will link it in the description. Um, I do just a yearly prediction every year. Mostly it's for funsies. Um, I usually do two versions. I do one that is more serious and then the funsy ones is going to be more like celebrity breakups and, and stuff like that or like silly things. Um, 
you know, I, I predicted one time that JFK's assassination was going to be solved because it was murdering kittens. Just, just, you know, fun stuff. But it would be interesting if that really happened. So I have a article that I have pulled up that is mine. Like I said, I'll um, put the link in the description. And I don't know how to screen share or anything, so I'm just going to give you the gist of it. Uh, 2020 predictions, and this was written on December 7th, 2019. And um, my first prediction was Donald Trump will be reelected. And that's not anything that I have made a secret of or have not said in the past. I have. I am not a supporter of any politics at all. I think politics is the lowest form of humanity. Um, it's all a game. It's worse than Game of Thrones. Like it's, uh, it's just a disgusting thing and it does nothing to help humanity in any sort of way. Um, in my opinion, this is just my opinion. Um, I have respect for the offices that are there and I will be respectful, but I don't believe that this system is working. But that's just my opinion. Everybody has freedom to have their own opinion. Just remember you're not free from consequences. So keep comments kind. Um, voter turnout is going to be at an all-time low. And seeing what's going on in the world right now, that looks very probable. But those who do go out and vote, they are going to vote for Trump. And it's going to be um, with within that percentage of the people who actually went out to vote, it's going to be a landslide with him winning. Uh, Donald Trump is going to have a major health crisis and during his term. I did put that I believed it could be a near fatal stroke in the last part of his term. He will not be very active. Um, I don't know if that's still accurate with the prediction of a near fatal stroke. I still see a stroke coming for him, though. He's older than what people think, and um, he has had health scares in the past. Uh, and no matter what you think of this individual, being president is a hard job. If you look at, just for example, Obama, right before him, when he came into the White House versus when he left, how much he aged, how much... It didn't, you know, he was a relatively young president, very young. I think he was, I think JFK was still the youngest president. I don't remember, but very young president. And, you know, he was in the Oval Office for eight years, uh, technically 10, but uh, he looked so old when he left. That job, no matter how you feel about that person, it takes a toll on their bodies, mentally and physically. I, it's rough. Um, so it would not be surprising if Donald Trump had some sort of major health crisis. I still think it's a stroke, but um, I think his system could be weakened due to other things. Um, climate change is going to be a very big topic of conversation this entire year. In fact, I see big companies getting together and making a module or a model that makes the work environment, excuse me, human. <laughs> Hello, I've been drinking some coffee. Um, my cute little Ursula tumbler here. Oh yes, I love the Disney villains. <laughs> um, I see big places making models and implementing them in the next few years that are going to be actually very good for the environment. They're going to be putting the environment first and they're going to be able to cut out a lot of needless, you know, footprints, carbon footprints, being able to do something to maximize the potential of less harm on the environment. Um, there will be good coming out of this. However, it's a side effect of greed, um, which some people are going to be like, well, who cares at the end? 
you know, the earth is going to win out, but is she really? Because, uh, um, environmentalism, especially in large companies, seems to be a fad. We've seen this year what can happen to the environment with minimal human interaction, and it is beautiful, and it has started to heal itself, and it is going to be a shame when that goes back. I actually think it's going to get worse than it was when we went into it, because we have a lot of angry people right now who really don't care. Um, the environment is not on their list of factors of anything that they're worried about right now. So I think it's going to get worse. Um, I do see this model taking off, but it's going to be a long time before the damage is rectified, especially right now. Um, it's going to take a long time for other people to adopt this business model, an actual physical model of how to run their businesses because some are just not going to be capable of doing it. However, it will do some good. It, it's going to be a lot of give and take on this particular issue and it's very sad. Um, you're going to see an explosion of women and women in entertainment this year um i think you're going to see a female jay-z for lack of a better term who's going to be that powerhouse um but i don't know if it's going to happen in 2020 now uh, i thought that in 2019 that it would but i'm guessing somewhere like 2021 2022 um you're going to see Again, this is going to, a lot of things have been delayed. Um, you're going to see a lot of women banding together um, in ways that we haven't seen before to really help and support one another. And I mean, every type of woman that you can think of, you know, elderly women, um, transitioning women, women who have transit, tra already transit already have transition transitioned. I can't say that word. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make light of anything. I just am having a hard time saying it. So male to female transition um, or in the process, you're going to see young girls. You're going to see a huge empowerment of women in as a unit, as a whole, um, because we have been second class citizens for a very long time and we still are. In 2020, we still are, and um, I think you're going to see more of the divine feminine, no matter what you believe in any sort of religion, you're going to see a divine feminine figure. Again, it may not be for a while. Um, I see a lot of blackouts happening around the world um, that could be due to radiation, uh, it could be due to space junk, uh, many different things that I see, uh, especially in the summer, in the heat, you're going to see a lot of blackouts. Um, I also want to remind everybody that Jeffrey Epstein did not kill himself and he quite probably is alive right now. Um, you're going to see a lot of people in uh, unfortunately, I can't go into too big of a detail of, of this because of the subject matter. Yay. Yay, YouTube. But um, you're going to see a lot of officials, top officials, politics, but then also celebrities, local celebrities, news anchors, things like that. Um, they're going to be outed as pedophiles. And... There's not going to be anywhere for them to hide anymore. Um, just to remind you, I'm a child advocate, so this will be really nice to see some people going down. It's going to be people that shock you, uh, people that you never would have thought that they were capable of something like this. And you're going to find how bad it really is. Um, Oh, 
U.S. is going to lose a lot of teachers. Um, I just, I see a lot of teachers not making it past this year. And I don't mean they're going to die. I mean that they are done. Um, they're, and I said this again, December of 2018. I don't see them making it past this school year because it was so difficult. Um, you're going to see a huge huge teacher crisis. Um, you're going to start seeing uh, thing <sighs> qualifications for teachers changing. They're going to be desperate for teachers and you're going to see qualifications that once were a requirement be a recommendation instead. Um, you will no longer need a certificate or if you have to have the certificate, you're basically going to be given the certificate because it is that bad. It's going to be terrible. Um, I also see more people choosing to homeschool their children, but I don't see that trend lasting very long, but I think that will happen. Um, I, for whatever reason, I have a bad feeling that there's going to be destruction of original copies of books, of original works. Uh, it, it's very book related though. I keep seeing books being destroyed or burned or, uh, for example, there's a, I don't know if it's a museum or even a college that has uh, this vast amount of literature and work that we're going to see being destroyed and I'm assuming by a fire um, it's very intentional it will happen and it will be completely intentional as you will find out as well that uh, the Notre Dame Cathedral burning down having uh, that happened on April 15th 2019 because that was my birthday um, yes you were gonna find out that that was also planned that was meant to be it was an act. It wasn't by accident. Um, very weird that I'm connected to that. Um, I also will. I also see people starting to sue insurance companies themselves. Um, insurance companies have had a lot of power. The um, unfortunately, a lot of people. In the United States don't remember this. 10-15 um, years prior to now uh, we had a working relationship with doctors. Now we have to fight everything to get the procedures, medicines, whatever that we need. You have to jump through like 20 to 30 hoops in order to get a diagnosis. I can't begin to tell you how many hoops I had to draw. Uh, how to, I had to jump through in order to get a mammogram. Now, yes, I'm under forty. Um, yes, my mom had breast cancer, um, but my physician found a lump, and well, I found it, and she looked at it and thought it was very sus suspicious. So. I had to go through so many loops and so many phone calls and so many denials just to get a mammogram. Um, it was awful. Like it took me about three or four months to get there and that's low, but it, it it's insurance. Insurance is the reason this stuff happens. Um, but you have to go into your doctor's appointment equipped with knowledge like you are a doctor, which isn't right. Um, you have to know, I mean, I actually had a person from an insurance company explain this to me, so I'm telling you what they told me. You have to go into your doctor's office and question everything that they are doing. They're giving you your temperature. Why? Why are they taking your blood pressure twice? Why do they think that you need an MRI? Why do you they think you need, you know, staples? 
Why do they think that you need this blood drawn or this? And while I tried to explain to them that I am not a doctor, nor do I understand why they need that. They know better than I do. They've had their schooling. I have not. I shouldn't have to go in there and expect to know what test I need. But that's the world we live in now. And it's weird. And we have gotten so far from what I have grown up with where your doctors are ordering tests because they think it's correct instead of now where you have to tell them that you need testing done or they suggest something like a mammogram. I'm just using this as an example. And you have to fight for it tooth and nail. It's ridiculous. So I am seeing people getting fed up with that and suing insurance companies because they are causing people to die. I also see a new Pope. Um, that's the last prediction I had on that one, but I see a new Pope. Um, probably not towards December, November, December. I see a new Pope. I'm not saying that this current one is going to die. Obviously the one previous to him did not. He retired. I just, I don't, uh, I don't see our current Pope making his job. I don't even know what I'm saying. Making his job, <laughs> um, having his job last much longer. Uh, and that could just be due to his own physical or mental well-being, his own health. Um, but I, I just, I don't see us getting out of 2020 with the same Pope that we had going into it. Um, I know this video is running a little long and I'm sorry, but you know, I'm talking about predictions. It's hard. Um, again, don't come for me. Seriously, this is just stuff that I've seen and I give you the information. I am human. I'm not ever 100% accurate. No one is. And, you know, it is what it is. This is just something that I see. And somebody might see something completely different. Time moves. Nothing stands still. We are constantly in a flux of motion. And in my view, past, present, and future are moving at the same speed. And everybody has their own theories about that. But as far as June 2020, I see some really bad stuff happening. Um, if you want to see more of a detailed breakdown of what I think is going to happen in June of 2020, let me know in the comments below. Uh, because it's, like I said, I've tried to make that particular video five different times and I couldn't. Because I kept thinking, well, the, A, this is really dark, and B, I, I can't not, I just can't put my finger on what I'm feeling. It's not good in the least, but okay, I'm going to stop rambling and I hope everybody has a good day or night wherever you are in the world. Please, please, please like, subscribe and comment. And remember every single day that you wake up is a gift. Use your time wisely. I will see you guys soon. Talk to you later. Bye.